Hello everybody, Dark Skeleton here, and in this video I'm going to be explaining to you guys, with Kim, why Lord Godfrey is the best card in the Witchwood set so far. So, let's take a closer look at what Lord Godfrey does. It's a 7 mana 4-4, four, four, which battle cry does 2 damage to all other minions. If any die, repeat this battle cry. If you remember an earlier card from, I believe it was the Frozen Throne set, called Defile, 2 mana removal deal 1 damage to all other minions if any die repeat this battle cry, was a pretty solid removal card for Control Warlock. But this effect is way more powerful than that, and I'm going to be explaining to you why that is. So imagine this board state. Your opponent, the Hunter, has a Crackling Razor Maw, a 3-2 on the board, a Cursed Disciple, a 5-1 Death Rattle, summon a 5-1 Revenant, and then Hemet Jungle Hunter which is just a standard 6-6 six, six minion. When Lord Godfrey's effect goes off, it's going to deal 2 damage to all of these minions, but it will not affect Lord Godfrey, keep that in mind. So this guy is going to get taken out immediately because it's going to lose 2 health. This is going to take a minus 2, this is going to take a minus 2. So this guy is also going to die, the Cursed Disciple, which is going to death rattle into its second form, the second 5-1 Revenant. So with this board set up, Lord Godfrey's effect is going to repeat, so it's basically echo, but automatic. Now, this guy's already dead, so we only care about the death rattle effect from this guy, and the four remaining HP on him at Jungle Hunter. So, there's a 5-1 on the board now, so this is going to deal two damage to that, so this guy's dead too, and him at Jungle Hunter takes another minus two health. Now, because a minion died a second time, it's going to repeat for a third time, which means Hemet Jungle Hunter is going to get another minus two. Oh, look, Hemet Jungle Hunter is also dead now. Now, if there were any more minions on the board, then they would also take another minus two health. In fact, this would have done eight damage to all minions on the board, except for Lord Godfrey. Keep in mind, this does affect your own minions, but you're putting this in a control warlock deck. You want to keep the board clean, you want to survive. So you probably don't have too much important on your side when you actually play this effect. In fact, you might actually use some of your minions. Maybe you have a 1 or 2 health minion to get that first effect to trigger, and then you kill 2 or 3 of the bigger health minions, somewhere around the 3, 4, 5, 6 health range. But if the board's big enough, you can even deal 8 damage, like would have happened with this effect. Now, how many minions are people actually playing that have more than 8 health? That would be about uh, 1 or 2 in standard right now before Richwood comes out. Who knows how many afterwards, but probably less. Because we have two sets in an adventure rotating out and only one new set coming in, which means less random big cards for people to play with. In effect, this has already become better than Twisting Nether on the board. So Twisting Nether destroys all minions but it does not deal with death battle effects. So in the case of minions like a Cursed Disciple or anything else, Can Blood Hearth maybe, where it death battles into a second minion, that minion would have survived. But when you have Lord Godfrey's effect, it goes through death battles. As long as a minion dies every trigger, it can kill everything on the board, including death battle minions like Cursed Disciple. Now, to top all that off, when everything on the board is dead, you still get a 3 4 4. So if you were to put a 4-4 minion in your deck, it would be pretty good at 3 mana. A 3 mana 4-4 with no other text would probably be reasonably playable. But you're getting that for free after playing a 7 mana removal. Keep in mind, Twisting Nether is a 8 mana removal spell. This means that you're clearing the board, including death rattle effects in most cases, and getting a 4-4 minion for 7 mana. Now to even top that off, Paladins are getting a new spell called Rebuke. It's basically the low theft effect. Enemy spells cost 5 more next turn. But this isn't a spell. You can remove the board with a minion. Which makes it even better to put in a Control Warlock deck because now you have the option of getting around cards like Rebuke or a Mage's Counter spell, being able to play a minion to remove the board. Rather than necessarily having to resort to a spell, you might still include extra spells like Defile or maybe a Twist in the other but you'll always have Lord Godfrey to completely blow up the board and give you a 4-4 to top things off. So yes, Lord Godfrey is clearly a very insane card. So I've been Dark Skeleton, this has been a look at Lord Godfrey, and I hope you agree with me now, this card is going to be amazing. Control Warlocks, look out for them. And I'll see you guys in my future videos.